Hello, friends, and welcome back to Um Like Anime. This is a special episode, uh, as we do for upcoming seasons of anime, where we're rounding out spring and we're about to enter summer. And uh, Tony and I are joined to uh, to check out some trailers. Hey, Tony. Hey, you're sitting a lot closer to me today. I know we. So to cue, I mean, we're getting cozy. But uh, to cue in uh, listeners, we have a new. Uh, thing going with our discord it's an exclusive uh, is exclusive to the patreon yeah uh, if you're if you are a patron on patreon you will gain access to um some channels on our discord server and uh, one of them is this stage thing which is new to discord and we're trying it out um while we're recording this episode so you could have been listening live but if you're listening to this later then uh, you're obviously not listening live but you know something to keep your eye out for in the future we're gonna probably try and do this more often probably starting next season i don't know that we're gonna play with it too much more this season but we thought that it did video so we got ourselves all set up to yep. be able to you know see both of us in the frame which means we're sitting closer than we normally do um and uh and then we fired up the stage and found out nope doesn't do video yet it says it might be yeah, added yeah maybe in later. the future so right now it's audio only, but most of the time you're listening to us audio only anyway, so it probably doesn't matter, I guess. And I don't know, I don't know if you said, but uh, that, uh, the stage on Discord allows uh, listeners, if we give them access to, uh, you know, interact on the podcast and yeah. kind of talk, you know, ask a question or tell us we're full of it. Yeah, and the idea is that we'll, um, I mean, maybe do like a call-in show type thing in the future. But during normal episodes, probably just during our break in between recording, because we record multiple episodes a night, um, in between recording episodes, we usually take a short break and uh, might be able to answer some questions from listeners at that point in time. So it's just another way for you to not, not interact with us. Another way for you to uh, ignore us and, and not talk to us. You have an option to ignore all yes, of this. Yes. But anyway, putting that aside, uh, <laughs> we're joined, uh, yeah, to check out some of these trailers. We've already seen some of them. I think there's some that are newer or have uh, actually have English subtitles. Yeah, yeah, um, I updated it. There's, there's still a few at the bottom of the list that don't have any English subtitles, but uh, the majority for like three quarters, seven eighths of the list uh, have English subtitles, or I've found versions that have English subtitles. So, yeah. And along with that, you've done a lot of work uh, assembling this playlist that's on our YouTube channel. You yes. go to Unlike Anime on YouTube, you can check out our playlist. And if you want to follow along and watch these, you know, as we watch them and, and see uh, see if we're way off base uh, or not. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's kind of fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, thanks we, for doing that. We have a listener, by the way. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's Blaine. <laughs> hey, Blaine. Um, yeah, we can't hear you, Blaine, but we can always give you permission to talk later. Um, we're going to have to cut this part out of the, of the official thing, I guess. More stuff for me to edit. Maybe yeah. not. It's a good, you know. Yeah, I guess that's just, true. We just, uh, set up the whole Discord thing and we got someone, uh, in there, so. Yeah. Anyway, what, what you were saying about the, uh, the playlist, uh, I was going to try and, you know, clue in anyone that's listening, um, which is just Blaine at this time that uh, we're going to be going through these trailers in the order that that playlist is set up. So if you want to watch the trailers along with us, uh, fire up YouTube in another tab or something, and uh, and you can watch the trailers along with us. Yeah, um, we're trying a new thing of watching them and then talking about them on here instead of watching them all at once and trying right. to remember what the heck, uh, which, yeah, which show was which and if yeah. we liked it, if we were into it or not. <laughs> right. So... Yeah, the first one up is Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. All right. Miss Kobayashi. Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. What S. Is, second season. What does the yes. S stand for? Second season. Sloshed. <laughs> <laughs> Super Supreme Sugar Melon Cups. <laughs> yeah, you're combining them, but you know, why not? Yeah, mix and match. Pick your favorites. <laughs> so did you ever watch the first season of Miss Kobayashi? I think I watched the first episode or maybe it was just part of the first episode and i was uh i wasn't into it i uh i'm surprised because i watched it i watched a few episodes and i was into it i liked it when it first came out um but then i kind of i think i lost uh, i just yeah this this podcast is helping me keep up on shows so i like mm. that but i've been re-watching it in anticipation for this and uh it's really great it's funny and i i th thought about you a lot because like the whole premise is that you know, Miss Kobayashi, like, um, she gets 
drunk one night and is like wandering in the forest and comes across a dragon and then the next morning she doesn't remember any of it but she evidently told the dragon she could you know live with her mm. uh, and so she's just I don't know um, I just love from the start it's just like completely ridiculous um, and all for the gags yeah I just remember it being a little H-y. That it, was the that was the thing that I remembered that I was like meh there's plenty of H E shows out there I don't, I don't know I I mean, it definitely has that sort of perverted element, but I think it's, like, kind of a nod and a wink. Like, it's making fun of itself instead of, like, being creepy, you know? Mm. But that's not, you know, the way a show does that isn't, you know, doesn't appeal to everyone. But Right. But anyway, I like this trailer a lot. Uh, it had a silly rap, and uh, that was fun. Yeah, so, I mean, this looks cute and fun and stuff, and similar to what I thought of the first season when I before I watched it. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm not going to watch it because I haven't watched the first season, but mm. uh, I think you are planning to watch it, right? Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so, yeah, that's so we'll Miss that. Kobayashi's Dragon Maid uh, S. Uh, a couple things. Kobayashi is uh, the director, Tatsuya Ishihara. He directed um, The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, as well as, oh, yeah. as, well as all three, Air, Clonade, and, uh, and Sound Euphonium. I don't know if he did uh, Kanon, which is another... Uh, mm is in that same i forget what studio that is but um yeah so that's interesting those are those are all decent shows those are all good shows yeah and then how a realist uh hero we built the kingdom director is uh, takashi watanabe and he did uh, a lot of things but he did uh, the original slayers which is like from the mm. you know early 90s um i don't is, know it yeah i don't know it <laughs> uh lena inverse and uh it's, uh it's kind of a classic anime um at this point um not fantastic but i well, thought i'd Throw that out there. So, how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom. Check that out now. Yeah. So, how the realist hero built the kingdom. It uh, appears to be about a guy who gets summoned into uh, another world, or isekai, as you know, the nomenclature goes. Um, and uh, instead of doing all the silly, overpowered things that uh, you know isekai protagonists usually do, he uh, sets about fixing the kingdom's economy. Yes, from the <laughs> from a realism perspective, yes. a realist. He's a realist. Um, um, it's an amusing concept. I'll probably check it out. You know, I'll watch. I don't know how far I'm going to get into it. I'll watch a couple episodes at least, probably. I don't know. It could. It could be. I don't know that it's ever going to be great. I'm not even sure that it'll be good, but it might be good enough. I don't know. I'm probably not going to watch this one to start. I'll be curious to see uh, see what you think. Um, see how it plays out but i'm imagining like the best case scenario for me would be if if the politics of it are you know interesting intriguing they're actually like you know using it as a sandbox to you know um to either convey uh, certain ideas about you know how society could work uh but uh, i don't know there was one shot of some really big melons on some uh, some character so i'm like all right well i mean that's you know you know, that's yeah. often with anime, but... Uh, Kobayashi's Dragon Maid didn't have that? Or? That's true, but that's a comedy. Like, this is <laughs> oh, going okay. for a serious tone with a political yeah. bent. So... I guess, yeah. I'm just like, I'm like, uh, I don't know. Like, I just, I'm not saying one way or the other, but I'm like, it could be like a bait and switch. I don't know. Um, yeah, you could be right. But yeah, I'll be I'm very curious to hear how, how uh, you you like it. So I might, I might get into it based on that. And then next up, we're actually... Uh, Gonna, we don't have a trailer for this next one. Um, it is Yamishi by season nine. I actually meant to mention it uh, before when we were talking about um, returning shows like mm. Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. So Yamishi by is returning for a ninth season. Uh, not a whole lot to say about it. Just it's a cool sort of spooky show. Some episodes are good and scary. Some of them aren't, you know, very scary at all. And some of them are just dumb. Um, but it's short and it's fun and uh, I will be watching it of course I've watched the prior, prior eight seasons uh, not that you need to because there's no continuous storyline through it it's just little short um, little short uh, scary jokes ish sort of thing I don't know yes uh, Yamishi, what is it Yamishibai 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 yeah. yeah I'm curious about it you've told me about it like uh, ghost stories right yeah um, yeah, I'm curious. So that that'll be returning. So I might I might jump in on that. Uh, this is kind of a light season. We've we've uh, both remarked uh, mm -hmm. recently. Yeah. So uh, it could be a good yeah. That could be a good opportunity. Yeah, we've only got 32 trailers to watch, um, which I'm pretty sure we watched like 72 last season. So yeah, yeah. So so yeah, it's a little lighter, and 
yeah, Yamishibai. Like I say, it's a good show, and it's short, so it'll be easy to just add it in if you if you feel like it. Okay, well, that was uh, a show called, uh, what is it called? Oh, The Honor Student at Magic High School, which, as I understand it, is a spinoff from The Irregular at Magic High School. Yes, I um, believe so. Which I have never seen any of those, uh, any of that. I have not seen any of them either, but it being a spinoff, it might be something that you can jump in on. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know about this show. I, I just don't know if it's something that I would like or not. I'm I'm not sold on whether I'm going to watch it or not. It's it's on my definite maybe list. Okay. I might be watching it, um, just checking it out, but I don't know. Just because it's such a light season, like we were saying. Yeah. You know, there's going to be, I'm probably going to pick up a few things that I didn't think I was going to, and yeah. hopefully they'll be good, and, and this one might be one of them. I'm not sure exactly. I welcome some fun surprises. I'm... Uh, this doesn't look bad to me, but I just I just get the feeling that like there's some element to this world that is you know necessary to know about. Um, mm. But I was amused by there's like the it was in this trailer I was saying there's the honor students and there's, then there's the inferior the students. Inferior students. Like, Jeez, what the yeah. heck, Graham? There's probably, no probably a poor translation or something, <laughs> but I don't know. Um, yeah, it was interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look. Uh, super en engaging either. So I don't know. Yeah, that's the. It, it looks sort of mediocre middling um mm -hmm. that's why it's on my maybe list because it okay it didn't really grab me didn't really inspire me but it doesn't look bad well if you're listening and you're a big fan of the regular magic high school uh series uh let us know i've i've heard the name but i, I literally yeah i've ne never been recommended to me uh yeah either way all right so then the next thing we have is seire gensoki spirit chronicles anyway yeah let's uh check it out and see what it's about well so that was a different trailer than the one we watched before yeah clearly um seemed very different um kind of shoddily translated by someone thank you yes. for translating it uh, but, yeah uh, <laughs> yeah considering the one we watched before didn't have any translation i don't think so yeah i don't think know. so yeah yeah hmm. um but that i mean even just the visuals didn't give too much like there's some some guy some boy lead character and then some other girls and like an interesting looking giant tree but i didn't get much else like from that yeah it, as i recall the the earlier trailer that we watched it looked more like a, an isekai harem mm, thing right yeah um i didn't get that vibe from this one as much like this one's more of like the actiony stuff is it was trying to show some action yeah sort of stuff but it's very brief like what it showed so i feel like maybe it's kind of like trying to you know yeah amp it up a little bit maybe so it's a an isekai harem show with uh with a little bit of action and some i mean spirit chronicles are some sort of element of i don't know one the the main dude said at one point like oh i want to i want to kill again or i thought about killing yeah or something, something like that um yeah, i don't know i'm not i'm not uh super into it but yeah, uh, i'm not sold on it at all <laughs> <laughs> it's uh I, yeah, I mean, before when we thought it was a isekai harem show, um, this didn't this didn't help my opinion of it. I guess this this second trailer, is yeah, it the, yeah, second trailer. I think yeah. pass. Yeah, it's a it's a pass from me as well. Um, and then so next up we've got Tsukimichi Moonlit Fantasy. So yeah, this one looks like the um, isekai harem -y sort of thing as well i remember there were several of those in a row and this is just another one of them you know it does look like it's got some action in it it was nice to watch a trailer with subtitles so that i understood what the characters were saying but i we pretty had we pretty we had a pretty good idea from the original one like what what was going on with it so yeah so yeah this is a this is a easy pass for me yeah same for me i did notice it's directed by um see what's his name shinji ishihira uh, who directed Fairy Tale, the anime, I, which I saw a little bit of. I think you have as well. I watched a fair amount of it mm. before I, I got bored with it. But. Yeah, that's an adaptation. So, but uh, yeah, it looks all right. I like the logo. Like I think the logo looks like a mm. better show than this probably is. But uh, but yeah, it's like I'm I'm kind of soured on the isekai thing in general. Like there's got to be something more to it. Uh, this definitely seems yeah. just kind of meat and potatoes like. Let's get out of your world and go to where there's a dragon. Yeah, pretty pretty standard sort of 
isekai stuff, I guess. I don't know. The, the harem part is a little bit different, I guess. And I'm not sure it's a harem. I'm just saying that because it seems like maybe that's what's going on. But, like, he, he meets a dragon, and then she turns into a girl who, I guess, joins his party or something. And then he meets, like, this giant spider who turns into a girl and joins his party, I guess. And there's a pig girl. There's a pig girl, but we so. don't know if she joins his party or not. But, uh, yeah, the pig girl's the best part of this. Yeah, 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 yeah I agree. Yeah. That, I was like, if she was the main character. Yeah, I would watch that. Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah, come on, spice it up. So, yeah, I guess then we can move on to the next show, which is Cheat Pharmacist's Slow Life, Making a Drugstore in Another World. Yeah, so that was a shorter trailer than the one we watched before that was only Japanese because I couldn't find one that had subtitles. But uh, I don't know. Like, right at first, it's all calm and isekai-ish. Or not isekai, but yashike ish Yes, you know? yeah. Um, but then, yeah, it goes crazy with screaming girls and goes super hyper mode. Um, I don't know what to think of that. I... This is another one that I think we initially thought was like a, a sort of harem looking thing. And it does kind of look like that, but maybe not as much with this. Uh, I think this is the teaser trailer that we yeah. just saw. Not a good trailer, I will say. No. I think uh, way too edited way too quickly and it just didn't. Yeah, I feel like I didn't learn much, but um, I'm curious about it. It's on my um, considering list, so I will check mm. it out. Yeah, it's on my maybe list, too. So I uh, I might check it out i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm going to or not for me it depends on how funny it is and or how peaceful like the asha cave it's going to commit yeah. to that and then also not being like a creepy harem show right <laughs> yeah all so, of those things <laughs> yeah those are the boxes so <laughs> yep and then so i guess the next one up is kanojo mo kanojo or girlfriend girlfriend i think is the english translation that they have for that girlfriend <laughs> Um, it doesn't say what the inflection is, so yeah, maybe. Maybe <laughs> that's it. All right, so that one, you know, these other ones we've been talking about looking like a harem show. Um, this one pretty much flat out says it. It's uh, Unabashedly. Yeah, it's a guy who's like, ah, oh, there's this cute girl that likes me, but I already have a girlfriend. I know, I'll just ask my girlfriend if I can two-time her. Um, and then apparently other girls decide to join in on this, this as well. So there's like four girls that are all wanting to date the same guy. And I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's nuts. He even said at one point, I forget exactly. I'm paraphrasing, but he was like, uh, I really like this two timing. Maybe someday I'll tell you about it. Like to <laughs> one of the girlfriends, I'm like, hmm. you shouldn't be enjoying it that much. Like, uh, you know, if there's two timing in a show, like it should be in a drama right it shouldn't be like the a crux comedy. of the entire yeah. yeah but comedy let's just say that this show doesn't look good <laughs> i mean it's clearly trash and it's not a shame yeah that's true and like you know i suppose there are probably people that are into this sort of thing and, yeah uh, might enjoy it like it's just it's like a weird romantic comedy about cheating on your girlfriend i mean it's not really cheating i guess if she's okay with it but it didn't sound like she was okay with it but it sounded like he did it anyway but the other girl was okay with it yeah some of them were okay with it i don't know and it's it, it's weird and this trailer is sort of a slideshow of just like the character art so it's like yeah don't get, get don't really get a feel for any of these you know how these characters are going to act or where the show's going to go like you know yeah. as far as the etchiness is concerned yeah but uh, anyway but yeah it's a it's a pass from me on that one i think I will say, I'll throw it out, it's directed by uh, Satoshi Kuwabara, who uh, directed uh, the first season of Quint Quintessential Quintuplets, which I watched a couple episodes of, and I like I like it. I haven't delved uh, super deep into it, but, mm. yeah. I, uh, I don't think I've watched any of that. But. Mm. <laughs> Moving on. All right. Uh, next up, we have um, Remake Our Life. All right. Well, uh that one <laughs> the translation on the subtitles was pretty bad on that i think we were better off without any subtitles yeah. to be honest there's even one point when i was like i don't know if this is correct or not <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so the the basic story of this is it's a an older guy 28 my god he's yeah. old he's he's almost an uncle <laughs> <laughs> um uncle age that's that's yeah that's what it said in the subtitles so they it would have said like og which means um 
it means uncle. Like mm. Oji-san is uncle, but it's used a lot the same way you'd use like Oji-san when you're talking about an old man, like mm. a grandpa, okay. right? So he's not necessarily your grandpa, but he's a grandpa. He's like of that age, yeah. right? So, Gramps. So yeah, the translation saying uncle, it, what he's saying is I'm almost middle-aged, I guess, basically, or something. Um, <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> the, the basic premise is uh, he gets to go back and redo college I, I think is what I read somewhere yeah like and, go uh, 10 years in the past and yeah do it over yeah and uh, and this one look you know has those harem-y vibes again you know yep um, it's essentially like it seems like he what he regretted not doing in college was you know talking to more girls and you know mm. I don't know I don't know it's like why can't you just do that in your current life but um Okay. Because he's already a, an uncle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's all washed up, man. Like yeah. in Japan, you're when you're 18, that's your prime. You gotta mm-hmm. get a strike while iron's hot. Yeah, no one wants to marry a 30 year old. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, I think it's probably a pass for me. This one was kind of on my maybe, but I, I don't know. I'm I'm feeling more like it's gonna be a pass on this one. Same. You got any funny little notes? Uh, not for that one. No notes for that one. Okay. Well, then we can move on to the next one, which is uh, the title here is written in Japanese. So let me see what I can make out of it. Uh, oh, this is the Black Dungeon um, one. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. See right there where it says Black Dungeon? <laughs> nope. Buraku Company. Oh, Black Company. Yeah. yeah. The Dungeon of Black Company. Yeah. yeah. Black Company, that's what it says. It doesn't say Black Dungeon. All right, let's do it. All right. Well, I'll just add, I was looking at my notes. I, uh, this show, um, I think, if I wrote this right, um, is written by Manabu Kurihara, who wrote uh, Noragami. Mm. Um, and it's directed by Mirai Minato, who I don't know, but uh, they're also directing another show this season, which I probably won't be watching, but we haven't got to it. The Great Jahi or something like that. Oh. Um, I probably will be watching that. Oh, one. you will. Yeah, okay. Well, so. good. Uh, well, hey, I'll 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 hold my uh, judgment until I see the trailer. But uh, but yeah, um, this one looks. I don't know. Like it looks like it could go either way. I'm gonna be checking it out. Um, and I feel like you're not. Yeah, I think it just looks bad. And I don't know. I mean, the animation's not great. I didn't think. And yeah, story wise, I don't know. It was it was better watching it this time with English subtitles because um, mm. my impression of what was going on is different than what was actually going on, I guess. But I think I might like it less now. I don't know. Yeah, I'm a um, little. I'm I'm similar because we saw we saw it before, like last week, without uh, subtitles, and mm-hmm. uh, this time I hinted at that it's a uh, isekai. So I'm like, okay. But yeah. uh, I'm I'm curious about it because it seems like it might not take itself too seriously, and it's yeah. also trying to be funny. So depending on how funny it is. Um, and then the animation definitely doesn't look great, but I like how it looks. It's almost like a throwback to like kind of 90s, you know, um, mm. not lavishly animated, you know, just kind of uh, churned out. But it's got kind of that feel. It's it's not trying to be all um, cutesy and, uh, you know, um, yeah. Like the, the, the art of the eyes of the characters aren't like all like glossy and yeah. and like pretty, which which is a fine aesthetic, but it's kind of overused, I think, in a lot of modern anime. Um, so it looks a little refreshing in that regard, but I don't know. I'll, ch- I'll check it out. I'll let you guys know. Yeah, I'm, I think it's a pass for me on that one. Um, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I can be convinced, you know, if George tells me it's really good or something like that. Uh, Dungeon of Black Company. The detective is already dead, yeah. That is next Shin- on my list. Shinderu. Uh, that's, that's how I got it, that, last, that mm, last word there. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's watch this. Mm. Yeah, I like the look of this one. Um, it looks interesting. Like, the trailer doesn't give you a whole lot. It's more like character introductions, right? They introduce a whole bunch of different characters, just sort of run through them. Um, the the other trailer that we saw, I think this is the third trailer. No, this is the second trailer for it. The first trailer that we watched was all pretty much taking place on a plane. Um, yeah, yeah. And I think you thought that maybe it was all going to take place on that plane. <laughs> yeah, and the plane didn't look very well animated. Yeah, um, from the exterior of it anyway. Yeah, yeah but this plane look or this plane, this uh, trailer looked a lot better to me. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm consider me uh, intrigued in the least. 
Yeah, and the fact that they put the the title in Spanish on the trailers. You remember yeah. noticing that before too. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why that is. Interesting flair. Yeah, stands out a little bit. Uh, and then also said at the end, uh, if we're to believe these closed captionings, that the uh, first episode is a one hour special one hour special double episode something Which so kind of yeah. gives me i'm like all right that's like maybe you got something there like you it tends to be something that they do with things that aren't expected to do well i think oh really they try and they try and put out two at the same or maybe it's because there's i don't know maybe it's just that there's so much story and stuff and like the first episode is just going to be all introducing the world and the characters and it's not going to get into story so then they have to release the second episode to keep people interested maybe mm. uh, i don't know there i guess there are various reasons that they do that sort of thing but uh, yeah but yeah i i was intrigued enough by the initial uh trailer that we watched uh, like a week ago or whatever but this trailer um makes it look a lot better even i think so i think so i'm 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 similar but uh before i was like gonna pass and now i'm um, i just added it to my list so oh, nice. there you go yeah so i think this is on both of our lists might be might be the show of the season all right let's um, settle down <laughs> i mean we get... we, the shows that we both watched this last season have all been good shows right yeah yeah so I if mean, we're both watching it it's got to be a got, good show it's gotta be something yeah, yeah. that's true it's a good sign <laughs> All right, and uh, then speaking of good shows, uh, this next one is not that. Uh, Mother of the Goddess Dormitory is goddesses, apparently Goddesses Dormitory is the uh, the English title. I forget what the Japanese title it is. It looks but, lewd uh, and crude. Yep, I uh, think that's what we're in for. Let's take a look. Yeah, so I kind of uh, I want to go back and bring up that frame with the, uh, the the subtitles on it. What what did it say? This is a uh, harem romantic comedy with a lot of somewhat erotic happenings. Yeah, erotic is that happenings. Was? I mean, that that was the takeaway. <laughs> erotic happenings. Uh, and yeah, we we had watched the previous trailer for this, and there was just a lot of girl butts um, in that trailer. Um, in this one, there weren't quite as many butts, but uh, yeah, it. Uh, it is what it looked like it was i think yeah yeah they introduce all the girls like their main character art and then we see like this like static shot of them all in the bath like and mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that's uh if that's what you want that's what they get uh i'm good on that though yeah it's one of those sort of he like that's that's what it has going for it is the fact that it's he Yep. Um, so then we're both skipping that, it sounds like. And then next up, we've got Peach Boy Riverside. Peach Boy Riverside. Yeah. it's uh, This trailer looks a lot more action-y than I thought the other one did. Um, but that's not to say that the other one didn't look like it was action. Just this one focused more on the action, I guess. Yeah. I mean, killing, um, killing demons seems to be a... It Big seems part of it. Yeah, that seems to be the main thing. We've got a, a princess who doesn't know her destiny, uh, at least according to the trailer. Um, yes. And, uh, and they kill demons, and there's like a rabbit girl. Um, yeah, I really like that character design. It's uh, unique mm -hmm. and, and cute in a way that I haven't, you know, don't often see. And then there's a dog named Dog. <laughs> um, so There's I some cool walrus if, enemy. That... I don't know if he talks or not, the dog. Hmm. I haven't sure. seen that in either trailer, so maybe he's just a dog. <laughs> anyway, it, it, it looks good. It's it's nice looking. Um, so it looks good as far as art and animation go. Um, story, I don't know, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this one out. We'll see. I'm also going to try it um, based solely. I mean, not solely, but the, the some of the character designs are really intriguing. So I'm curious what it has in store. Um, all right, well then I guess I should move past that and go with uh, Shinigami Bochan to Kuro Maid. Um, what is it? Dark Magician and his maid or something? Uh, yeah, something like that. Something I don't have like it that. in front of me. <laughs> all right, that's the next one up. All right, so this one is billed as a, uh, what was it? Re reverse sexual harassment, I remember yeah. that. Pure love and reverse sexual harassment comedy. I think is what it said. Um, the art style of this is uh, unique, um, I think. Yeah. You don't see things that look like this. And it doesn't look bad. It just looks different. 
Um, some of the, the 3D stuff, some of the 3D animation looks not very good. Um, yeah. Well, it brings to mind um, the Ruby or R-W-B-Y. Mm. Uh, sort of a home. You can just say Ruby. Ruby? Yeah, I think. Okay. I like saying Ruby. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, Ruby or whatever it's called, whatever, however you say it. Um, that, that sort of, uh, art style with, it's a little clunky, you know, but it's, it, there's an endearing quality to it. Um, but he seems, this main character is called the Duke of Death and, uh, seems to mm. be quite literal. Uh, it seems like if anyone touches him or touches him at all, they will die. Anyone or anything. Cause like, there's like oh, the bird and then the flower the and you know, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, he touches things, they die. Um, and then he has this maid that wants to touch him in inappropriate ways it seems and he's worried about her dying yeah but is also aroused by her so yeah. it's like she's it's really just like she's teasing him because i don't know like she knows that i don't know just based on the little yeah. we saw like yeah she knows that she can't touch him and that he also is worried about that but is also attracted to her i don't know right. i'm the other trailer we saw was the other trailer we sh uh, saw uh, showed less, I think, and it made it more uh, mysterious to me. Mm -hmm. um, but this one, I'm like, because I had added it to my well, maybe we, list. We also didn't have subtitles in the other one. Oh, so, that's true. Yeah. That's true. But uh, I'm a little, I'm a little wary of it now. I don't know. Mm. Um, how are you feeling? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get how much the uh, the H E things, or not really H E, but the uh, the the teasing. Mm. Uh, thing I didn't get how much that was part of it I guess like it w it was clear that it was there from the other trailer that we watched um, I don't know I'm I'm gonna check it out because of the the art style um, but it's probably gonna be dropped pretty quickly would be my guess so okay yeah I think well probably good if out. you're checking it I already added that other one um, whatever it was uh, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna drop this uh, yeah, okay. uh, prematurely and and uh, see what you think Okay, and uh, next up is The Great Jahi Will Not Be Defeated. Yeah, so this one looks to me like it's a slice-of-life comedy sort of thing, basically. The, the basic premise being there's this powerful, I don't know, magician, dark lord or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what she's supposed to be. Yeah. Um, it, Jahi, the, the titular character, um, and then some magical girl shows up and destroys the dark crystal that protects the dark realm or something. And somehow Jahi is then transported into seemingly our world, I guess. It's like uh, a reverse isekai. Yeah. Reverse isekai, uh, which is, I mean, that's sort of been done before, I guess. The, the, yeah. The, the, the concept of that. Um, but yeah, she has to, you know, live in her run down one room apartment um and you know work at her part-time job uh trying to hunt down the dark mana crystals or whatever to put the dark mana gem back together so that she can go back to ruling the dark world or whatever it was called and it seems like that's probably like a setup just for all the gags like she's never mm. going to do that because yeah. i was saying she's too busy with her her housework and her job that you, yeah, you mentioned arguing with her landlady yeah 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 so it looks like just a, a cute um yeah cute girl doing cute things i'm a bit conflicted because it, it, when it showed her in the demon world or whatever um she was older looking mm -hmm. uh and a lot showing a lot more skin uh yes. and then when she's transported to our world uh she's smaller and more like a kid Mm -hmm. um, but so I feel like it's one of those things like, no, she's hundreds of years old, but she just uh, looks like a child and is, yes. so I don't know how much like etchy stuff they're going to show with her, but I'm a little, uh, concerned. <laughs> uh, yes. They could be pulling the 500 year old lowly thing. I yeah. Guess. Yeah. Um, precisely. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'm going to check it out. Like I say, it looks like a slice of life. Kind of something I would watch. She, I'm curious. I, I, I won't check it out, but I'm curious what you think. Um, um, like, I, I, yeah, I want you to tread that water first, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but she looks really cute. Like, uh, mm. like that's there too. It's just the whole etchiness of it. Um, the lolly thing is like a little, um, yeah. yeah. I mean, they, they didn't really play that 
up in this trailer and, and the trailer that we watched is for there isn't a proper trailer out for the anime yet we watched a trailer for the manga mm. um, which just sort of introduced the characters and talked about them and stuff but um, they didn't show I didn't think they really showed much H.E. stuff other than her in the previous world but that that's like the inciting incident that happens that being yeah. destroyed so that yeah. goes away pretty quickly but no you're right but yeah they could they could play it from that angle if but, they wanted to it's like she's wearing a adult t-shirt that's like barely hanging on her you know i don't yeah. know the um hey I'm, I'm not saying one way or another but i just got a little got a little uh you know red flag just a little red flag mm. but we'll see all right well then the next thing we're going to be looking at is battle in five seconds after meeting i think that's what it's called some of these have poorly translated titles on the uh <laughs> the trailers that we're watching but it's something like that. I think this one is right. Something about battle in five seconds. All right. What do you think, George? I don't know. I, I did add it to my, I would already added it to my list of things to maybe check out. But I don't know. I'm, I'm like on the fence. Like, it seems like it might be like, like, it reminds me of Saw, right? Like the premise of Saw, like, mm. you know, you're, you're in this game that's, you know, your life is actually on the line and, you mm. know, there's a seems like there's an element of like you know we you know they don't think their life is on the line or um yeah they said something the main character said something like that like oh yeah. if it's a game, it's I'll, a be game fine. I'll be fine yeah um so i'm if it has this like tense well-written like um you know plot then mm. that's cool but then it also has like a cutesy kind of silly maybe not silly but just like lighthearted lighthearted nature to it um mm. so I'm, i don't know i'm just curious if it's going to stick to one of those you know well there's like that that sort of cat lady or whatever mm, yeah that's the only thing i can think of that really fits that but there's i like don't some know candy like showed some candy um mm. that has plays into it somehow i don't know I, i'm just i, I just know. i'm wanting it to fully commit to like the the you know thriller the you know aspect of, mm. of the, what the premise you know seems to be but what do you think well it's got battle in the title so i'm out already <laughs> um, this is a kind of an easy choice and yeah it doesn't i don't know it doesn't look that interesting to me plot wise mm. even the the cat lady character was the only interesting thing about it but uh it's not enough <laughs> yeah well i'm curious too at one point the subtitle said like brain type battle yeah. begin or something um so i'm like i don't know i'll check it out this will be one i'll, I'll let you know about I'll, I'll i'll brave the waters uh but you know if it had brain type if it has like some puzzles you know that are interesting uh, mm. uh, i don't know i don't know how well conceived it is but uh hmm. well, i'll let you know i will let yeah. you know well then the next thing we're going to talk about is itaden deities is it deities or deities i always say it wrong I think deities deities i said it right the first time dang it uh itaden deities in the peaceful generation i like that trailer yeah it has a unique art style like we've talked about that with a few different shows but the art style looks pretty unique and story-wise it doesn't look bad it does look pretty action oriented but uh you know i can i can take some action as long as it's well justified and there's a story that goes along with it and yeah this one looks like it might accomplish that so yeah i'm thinking i might try this one out yeah, I as well. Um, yeah, like you said, a distinct color palette and color shading. Like it just looks really uh, unique. It stands out in that way. It's almost got like a pastel sort of uh, thing going on. The colors, yeah. um, which is kind of like, kind of an interesting fit with like a actiony, you know, right. uh, sort of a high energy show. And it, like the action looked, some of it anyway looked kind of comedic. Yeah, in the way it was presented as well. So that I think does eases the tension on that for me. Some female character like on top of some guy like just punching him in the face and like there's just blood spurting every time she, right. out of his nose or whatever. I'm like, yeah, I can uh I can dig it. I'll check it out at least. So cool. We're both in on that one. Yeah. And then so next up we've got Scarlet Nexus. Um yeah, looks like a very action y sort of thing. Um it's just not really my thing. I don't know. Like it, it, it's uniquely drawn as well. I think, uh, but I don't know. It's, it's a little, got a whole a too much action. Yeah, it's got a whole like aesthetic of like neon, like dark neon or something. Mm. Um, I don't know. Like 
we must have watched the trailer for this last week because we watched watched them all together. Yeah, we did. Uh, but I don't remember this one, and after seeing that, I'm like, oh man, I'm like, I feel like I should give it a shot. So I think I'm gonna add it. Oh, okay. Just to uh, just to see, uh, since you're not, it yeah. sounds like. Um, no, I'm not. I'll, uh, I'll I'll give it a go. Okay. Well then, I guess the next one up we have the case study of Vanitas. I do remember you liking this trailer before. Yeah, that's on my list. Yeah. All right. Well, let's check this one out. Very much a teaser trailer, so it's hard to really get a grip yeah. on it. Yeah. I mean, it's about vampires. And saving them. They're in peril, I guess. Yeah. They're the vampires that seem to be our protagonists, our main protagonist, probably a vampire anyway. Um, yeah. Not really sure story-wise what it's about or anything. It has just that look of i don't know the handsome boy show you know mm. like it's a lot of handsome boys that's what it looks like to me nothing um, wrong with a handsome boy i know but a show that just relies on that premise to get yeah. viewers is generally not something that uh is worth my time to watch so i am passing on this one um just no interest in it i'm gonna check it out i'm curious um one of the it's hard for me to dismiss it based on that little teaser. So. Yeah, that's that's true. But um, and it looks like it looks like it could be competent, uh, but it also at the same time could go the other way and just be like middling and uh, yeah. yeah, not interesting. So yeah, we're we're gonna cover the gamut. That's kind of what we do with uh, the new seasons. Uh, try mm -hmm. to cover cover the bases and see what grabs us. So. Yep. I'll throw and it in there. Start making the easy cuts early and the hard cuts later. <laughs> yes, yeah. I plan yeah, I plan to after the first episode be pretty uh discerning when it comes to what I'm gonna commit yeah. to. All right. Well the next one up is Aquatope of White Sand. Mm. Looks cute. Um girl who works in an aquarium meets another girl who seems interested in the aquarium or something and they become friends and you know, friendship uh, slice of life sort of thing, I think. Um, yeah. Maybe comedy a little bit anyway. Mm. Not eh, Maybe drama as yeah. well, though. I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm hoping I, I think it looks really good. It looks uh, very refreshing to the eyes. Mm. Uh, a lot of the sea life and, and ocean shots and just all of it seem very like a, a nice place to visit. Yeah. Uh, well drawn, well animated. Mm. And I'm ho I'm hoping it veers into the drama a little bit because it seems like these two girls like uh, one of the characters mentioned about the main girl that like she prefers fish over humans you know like yeah. she's kind of maybe a, a little uh, uh, you know socially uh, you know uh, averse um, but mm -hmm. yeah I don't know I've, I'll I'll definitely check it out yeah it's definitely uh, on the top of my to watch list mm -hmm. um, I think it has been since I heard about it a while ago. Uh, so then next up we've got Nighthead 2041 so 3D CG stuff and mm. yeah I'm not in love with the look of it like it doesn't look awful or anything um, and I don't know if the trailer is doing the show, actual show justice but I don't know it's not grabbing me I and I'm yeah I don't have a specific reason of why I'm not gonna check it out but <laughs> Um, I guess it's just kind of the look and feel of it. Yeah, the the animation I I think is bad. Mm -hmm. Looks bad. Uh, story wise, I'm not sure. Like there seem to be some sort of ability users or something they mentioned several times in this trailer. Um, it didn't give us much, huh? It looks sort of actiony, I guess. A lot of fighting and shooting and blowing stuff up. It looks like going um, on tactical missions and yeah doing stuff yeah but i don't know like story i don't i don't know what the story would even be yeah um, it kind of feels like a sign to me where it's like they're just trying to up the the action that is there without actually giving us any inkling of what it's actually about right but uh but yeah we'll see i don't know if people are just raving about the about the show after it comes out maybe i will have to check it out but at this point i will pass yeah, I think it's a pass from me too. Uh, so then next up we have Decide Tremere. I don't even know how to say that word. Um, uh, what does it say? Decide Turoi Merai. Huh. 
tro tro what did I say? Like to toroi troi troi merai troi merai trauma? troi merai. That's that's how it's written in Japanese. Huh. Uh, anyway, yeah, D side tromerai troi troi merai. Whatever. Um, let's check it out. So yeah, that looks like a trailer for a mobile game. Yeah, that's what I was um, gonna say. <laughs> so many playable characters. God, I just want to sink all my money into the gotcha mechanic of this game, so that I can play all these different characters. Mm. No, I don't, and I don't want to watch an anime about it either. And and I agree. And also, uh, this trailer, it's just like concept art, essentially. Like yeah, it's just like kind of a cop out, but it's basically a slideshow of all the characters in the game. Yeah. Um, and I some, don't know. Some I'm interesting background visuals, but yeah. I'm not even sure if this is, this might just be a trailer for the game and not a trailer for the anime. It doesn't anime. actually say anime art. anywhere on that. So yeah. But my understanding is that the game and the anime are coming out at the same time. So yeah. I don't know. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I'll pass. Yeah, definitely gonna <laughs> gonna pass on that. And why does it keep losing its place in the, the list of it's kind of annoying. All right. Well next up we've got uh Fena? Fina? What would you say? Fena? Yeah, I think Fena, yeah. yeah. Pirate Princess. Um it's gonna be on Adult Swim apparently uh dubbed and on Crunchyroll subbed. So um Let's see if uh, we want to watch this thing. Check it out. Um, so this, I, I uh, probably should add it before we watched it, but I found out earlier today this is directed by uh, Kazuto Nakazawa, um, who uh, has done a few things, but is uh, uh, notably known for uh, in Kill Bill Volume 1, uh, directed uh, that anime sequence of oh. uh, or Oran Ishii's uh, backstory. As, oh. uh, Cool. Uh, and then he also worked on uh, Samurai Champloo. He did character design. Um, and then there's, I haven't seen it, but there's this uh, uh, OVA called Parasite Dolls uh, that he did from 2003. And I was kind of checking that out. It looks like cool, kind of like sci-fi esque uh, um, uh, show. But uh, but anyway, what did you think of the trailer for this? Uh, it looks pretty mediocre to me. Mm. Um, nothing really stood out. I mean, the, the story might be interesting but probably not that interesting like i say it just looked pretty mediocre overall to me hmm. like art style and animation looked fine but uh but yeah just nothing really grabbed me about it so probably probably i might check out the first episode and see but i don't know it's probably not going to hang around for the whole season <laughs> <laughs> uh fair enough i i mean certainly the trailer isn't uh, amazing um like it looks like a competent competently made show but uh, but yeah i'm gonna check it out i'm curious i mean this crunchyroll adult swim collaboration and then also this kazuto nakazawa and production ig collaboration i'm just curious i'm curious if uh if it'll de deliver or not and i'm always curious when they do like these um original like legitimate anime productions that you know are an american debut you know mm. but they you know it's, they get that treatment like space dandy was like that um huh. i was just about to say they're usually not very good <laughs> <laughs> well hey it's each their own i mean um i'm not saying space dandy's not good i'm just saying that you know the other yes. ones that i recall are you know haven't been very good and if, well i mean even just from this uh current season what we're wrapping up um a lot of ona is dropping and uh various quality levels you know like mm. um a lot of that kind of stuff that isn't yeah. um but then then again there's tv anime in japan that's uh just not good either so yeah i don't know I, i'll check it out for sure all right well then next up we've got uh sunny boy sunny boy this is my uh most anticipated um uh, based on all the trailers we've seen mm. uh most anticipated show it looks it looks really good um like the vi uh, visuals yeah uh, visually looks nice um kind of reminds me of a few things like i mentioned madhouse it did like summer wars it kind of has the characters yeah. kind of have that feel mm. um also kind of reminds me of um um what's that ping pong the animation uh a little yeah. bit hmm. kind of a little similar feel but uh 
it mentioned in the trailer um, that uh, this director also did the first season of One Punch Man, um, mm. which is the uh, better season. Yes, from what I've heard. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really watched the second either, but uh, but yeah, for, but and it, it was a good, a really good season. Um, so that's kind of got me going. And then speaking of Space Dandy, uh, he directed a few episodes of that as well, including oh. the very first episode, which is uh, which I like. Huh. Uh, yeah, it has a unique visual uh, look to it. Um, the art style is, again, unique. Uh, there's been quite a few shows this season that seem to be branching away from the, the standard a- anime art style. Um, story-wise, I have no idea. Um, can't really tell anything from the trailer. Um, yeah. But it looks interesting enough to give it a try. So, yeah, I'll probably be in for the first episode at least and see how it goes. It's... Uh, I, I hope, I don't know. It looks like it could be really good. Um, yeah, I guess that's. It might be one of those shows for me that if it doesn't immediately deliver, I'm going to be giving it the benefit of, of the doubt uh, mm. just based on how good it, it looks. So yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I have high hopes, but, uh, you know, I got to gotta give it to you guys straight. So we'll we'll see. And then so next up we have Love Live Superstar. Yeah, so that trailer doesn't give you much to go on, but uh, it's a Love Live show. And uh, the main girl reminds me of Honoka from the original Love Live a Mm. little bit, like looks like her. Uh, So maybe that's why I'm giving this the benefit of the doubt. I I watched, you know, both seasons of the original, as you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, then I started watching the, whatever the second one was. I forget what the, it was even called. Um, but I lost interest in it pretty quickly. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know. If this one's more like the original one, I'll probably like it. If it's more like the second one, which I don't even remember the name of, I probably won't. Um, I don't know. I really haven't seen any idol shows, but... So the, it says Love Live in the title on this trailer, but then when we were actually watching it, it said School Idol Project. Are those yeah, same uh, thing. synonymous? Okay. Um, interesting. Yeah, I I don't know. Like, it looks cute, but I don't know, like, if I'm to get into Love Live, if this is where I should go or, if, you know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so I might, if you're going to, you'll be watching it. Uh, I'll be watching it, yeah. So you, you'll have to be the judge uh, and see if it, it could be my first idol show. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could just jump in on the first episode, see if you like it, and you'll be kind of in the same boat as me. I, I have no idea. I, it could go either way. Yeah. So. All right. I probably won't, but. But you can if you want to. Yes. But you don't want to. Hmm. <laughs> I already got a lot of shows. All right. Well, then next up, we've got Remain, the polo show, water polo. <laughs> So I went to all the trouble of finding uh, uh, that trailer with English subtitles <laughs> and uh, neither of us even watched it really because uh, <laughs> we, we were already decided on this show. I'm not sure why we even bothered to watch it again. Um, we watched the trailer last week. It's the same trailer, just this time it had subtitles so that we could understand what was going on even though it was all pretty clear. Um, it's a uh, you know, boys water polo team and dude quits and then gets back into it i guess i don't know doesn't doesn't look that good so yeah not not going on my list me neither but it's hard with sports shows because i know there's a lot of good ones and i've seen one or two that i've gotten into but i don't know i'm always kind of like you know hesitant to jump in to one Uh, Mm kind of like to wait and see um it's like i feel like if i'm gonna watch one it should be haikyuu because that's the one everyone talks about yeah. as being amazing um isn't there like a baseball one or uh, there's basketball and the kuro, kuro kuro basket i think is a really yeah. popular one too um i don't know yeah there's lots of really popular ones yeah why why take a risk on a new show that n- no one knows whether it's good or not why why not just watch an old show that you know yeah. has well established been as being good yeah and i i mean and that being said if if uh, you know i try to pay attention to what people are talking about when the after the new season starts and if this is like you know, at the top of people's lists, maybe maybe I will throw it on. But um, it's the best sports anime ever made from the first episode, I knew. <laughs> I knew. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't look that interesting to me. I'm not really that into sports anime most of the time, anyway. So it's uh, very few that I would get into, and it just looks like standard. Yeah, stuff. So well, I know the really good ones are are more 
drama than you know about you know, the sport is sort of the you know just yeah. what, you know what drives everything but um and i'm into that i love you know i love really well written drama but i don't know yeah yeah, what was the name of that baseball one? There was a baseball one that I watched like a long time ago. It was really good. Mm. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I guess we can move on to Uramichi Onisan. Uh, I forget what the actual full title of this is, but I can think of three baseball anime. Free? Okay. No, Free's a swimming. Free swimming. What's yeah. the, there's a really old one that has like one title, but then touch. there's Oh, Touch. I have watched some of Touch, but that's not the one I'm thinking uh, of. Big Wind Up is another one. Cross Game. See, I wouldn't know the English titles. Oh, okay. so. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is fruitless. Yeah. Let's, get, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on to Uramichi Onisan, which uh, I think the English title is longer than that, but I don't remember what the other words in it are, but mm. um, you know the one we're talking about. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. I'm into it. Yeah, me too. It's uh it's a, a funny premise, children's TV show presenter um that is, you know, all you know, sunshine and bubblegum while on camera and then as soon as the cameras go off, he's just sort of dark and moody. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and and directly there's like got an audience of kids, you know, they're part of the show and he's just doesn't doesn't care. It doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. Um <laughs> And it, it seems like definitely like a gag kind of show, but yeah. um, but that it could be really funny. Um, yeah, it's a. Uh, I mean, it's got to be slice of life comedy, right? It doesn't doesn't seem like there's probably much. Yeah. Involved dramatic story or anything going on. It could even be a short, and if it was, it'd probably be. I guess it could better be. for it. Um, yeah. Perhaps, but uh, but yeah, I I don't. This is one of those shows too where I'm like, is it going to get picked up? Uh, you know, by. Uh, in America, yeah, we're pretty low on the list at this point. So yeah, I, I sincerely say. hope it does, but uh, it seems on that line of it might not. Yeah, like we I, never got Dinosaur Biori from that's true. This current season. Yeah, I haven't actually looked back in to see uh, which of these shows have been announced for uh, any streaming services. I know a few of them have, but um, I haven't looked again to see. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But anyway, I will tell. guess uh, we'll move on to a uh, tall girl show. What is the name of this one again? Uh, Too tall girl. Ka Kageki shoujo. I think that's what that says. Shit, that's yeah. Kageki I think you're right, shoujo. Yeah. What says it really tiny in English? Um, Where underneath the logo and the still still frame oh really you can read that i can't read that i can read the shoujo part <laughs> i can i can read the japanese part <laughs> <laughs> we complete each other kageki shoujo uh yeah let's check this one out all right kageki shoujo um i don't know it looks slice of life cute girls doing cute things uh ish i guess but it's kind of hard to tell from this trailer um we couldn't find one that was subtitled or i couldn't find one that was subtitled george didn't even bother to look yeah <laughs> um it looks it could be cute uh could be funny could be dramatic i really yeah. don't know uh if if it's picked up like i say we're really low on the list i don't even know if this one's getting picked up <laughs> but if it's picked up i'll check out the first episode or three i it looks all right like um i just i'm <laughs> the character animation that they have these really thick eyelashes um that and they're like multicolored and i don't know for some reason it bothers me it's off-putting um <laughs> and that's a very nitpicky thing <laughs> to dismiss something but hey here we are um and that's my reasoning all right uh well next up we have uh tsuki pro um what does that even say pro ni i don't know tsuki pro i'm pretty sure is what it's called um <clears throat> The only thing I could find for this, I couldn't find an actual trailer, um, but I found uh, it's basically a music video. I guess it's the opening of the anime. Um, and we watched it last week and we're not gonna watch it again because uh, I don't even think we watched the whole thing last week and it's only yeah. like a minute and a half long. It's um, got, well, it's got like that live capture. Yeah, a live capture 3D. Um, it's, I don't know. I mean, speaking of off-putting. If you're into boy bands, you might like this, but um you'd have to get past the terrible animation i guess it's it's just weird because like like the the dance moves and stuff are kind of interesting but like their facial expressions are so like like 
like uh, static. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, anyway, uh, I'm not watching that. How about you, George? Nope, nope. All right. And I was when you were setting it up. I was like, oh god, do we have to watch this again? <laughs> no, like we're not no. watching it. Yeah, I already, I already decided that we were not watching that again. Uh, so the next thing we have on our list is Getter Robo Arc. Um, I believe I also could not find a uh, subtitle trailer for this. Um, but this is a new trailer, so it's not the same one that we watched before. So well, we'll check it out. So yeah, this one has a very 80s, 70s even maybe, a throwback mm -hmm. sort of art style. They are clearly using some 3D uh, animation techniques. You can see it uh, occasionally. With the um, mecha and stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know. And, and like the art looks well done uh, for the style that they're going for. Yeah. Um, but it is a mecha show, so I'm pretty much out based on that. It looks cool, um, but it's just not something that I'm going to get into, I know. I'm trying to look this up. Okay, yeah, so Get a Robo is an established franchise that started in 1974. Mm. Um, so, it's, yeah, you're spot on with the 70s. Uh, mm. um, I don't know, like, I feel like... Like it looks, it looks okay, but I, I'm not gonna watch it either. But I'm curious about Get a Robo in general. Like, there's got to be something to that. Um, in this trailer, I don't. It's kind of off-putting for me. I keep saying that word, but just like the the um, the blend of like the 2D characters with the 3D mm. um, mecha. I'm just like, and I, I like. I'm into mecha stuff. I, I don't. Uh, not as dismissive of it. Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, I'll pass on this one. Okay. Um, and then I guess the last thing on our list here is, um, what's his name? Tsushima? Yeah, Ore Tsushima. Uh, we're not going to watch this trailer because there's not much to it. And I, I, again, couldn't find one that was uh, subtitled. I think we got the idea of it last time that we watched it. It's about a cat that um, is kind of a jerk, it seems like. Um, I've read a little bit about it, and apparently the... Um, the person that we see in this show is uh, an old woman, but the cat calls her Oji-san, like grandpa, old man. Rude. Um, yeah. It's a short. It's I'm pretty sure Crunchy picked this one up. Oh, did they? Yeah, Sweet. I think so. So. Yeah, I, I want to see it. It looks cute and funny. Yeah. So we'll both be checking that one out, I guess. Oh, and yeah. uh, was there anything else? Where'd my phone go? I wanted to mention um, there's a fantastic show that came out last season, Wonder Egg Priority. Um, last last season, right? Last, yeah, yeah uh, winter. Winter, yeah. Um, of 21. And uh, yeah, fantastic show. I, I actually just caught up on it, and the and I had been meaning to. Um, but the reason I did it now is because uh, they're getting a final episode, uh, which it needs to uh, finish, the, finish the story. Yeah, they... I forget what happened. They, I think they did a recap episode somewhere kind of early on in the season yeah. um, because they had fallen behind or something mm -hmm. like that. And so they're making up for it and, and putting out the promised 13th episode um, mm -hmm. that, uh, that was missing because of uh, them falling behind. So, so that's cool. It's nice to see them make good on that and, and finish up the story properly. I mean, I think it ended well enough, but like, pretty open still yeah so. yeah there's still much more to address yeah. um and it's a show we both like a lot yeah yeah and it's a good show. so i think we talked about maybe doing just a whole episode um on the series um yeah maybe we're still um, discussing on exactly what we're gonna do with it um whether we're gonna yeah do a whole special about the whole series because it's probably worthy of that mm. um it just kind of depends on what our timeline ends up being uh, yeah this next season uh it looks like it should be fairly light next season, so we can probably get it in there somewhere. I'm mm. uh, not sure exactly when we're going to do it, but uh, you know, sometime this season we will probably be doing that. And we'll definitely talk about it, so if, you're, if you care at all, um, check it out and look forward to that. Yeah, if we, d if we don't do the special, we will definitely add it into one of our shows, uh, yeah. talking about at least the final episode. Um, yeah, and... and probably have to talk about the rest of it to be honest with you so yeah if we, if we go that route it'll make that episode even longer yes. but so uh, we'll see <laughs> uh and the only other thing that is on my list of things that i could not find a trailer for at all is a show called megaton musashi um i have no idea what it's about um 
it is pretty low on the list of shows, which means it's probably not getting picked up anyway. So um, we might check it out, might not be able to, uh, who knows mm-hmm. at this point. But yeah, that uh, that pretty much does it for us. I Because of the way we recorded this, I have no way of knowing how long this episode is going to be. I hope it wasn't too long. Um, I hope we uh, covered all the stuff that you wanted us to cover. If we didn't, if we missed a show, let us know. Um, and we'll uh, add it to our list of things to check out and see if maybe we're watching it. But uh, yeah, 32 shows uh, that we watch trailers for. Uh, and I don't know. I, I didn't actually keep track, so I don't know how many I'm watching. I don't know how many you're watching. But uh, we'll figure that out, and uh, we'll get back to you another day. Uh, anyway, thanks for listening. Um, I'm Tony, and he's George, and we are Um Like Anime. You can find us on all of the social media things at Um Like Anime, U-M-L-I-K-E-A-N-I-M-E. Uh, As we mentioned at the top of the show, we set up a Discord, which we're hoping is another method of uh, communication with uh, the listeners. Um, So check that out. And uh, we also mentioned if you're a patron, you get access to listening to us live stream the recording of our episodes. Um, So that's like a cool little perk, right? Uh, Hopefully those who uh, have that uh, are enjoying it. Yeah, and we'll continue to get better at doing it <laughs> yeah hopefully it's our first run hopefully they can do video in the future like we went to all this yeah. trouble and yeah anyway uh yeah that's that's it yeah, and that's all i got to say you got anything else thanks for tuning in uh, and i can't wait to start this new season it's uh, very exciting all right bye guys see ya